The Rest of the Story by Dragonfly Beach You massacred my book, Phil! Hello, Chuck, replied the editor. How are you today? How kind of you to call me on my day off. I mean it, Phil! The author fumed. You cut away too much of this one. All I did was some simple... Professional editing, Phil protested. Editing my ass! Chuck shouted. The Vikings left more when they pillaged Newfoundland. You annihilated it! Chuck, calm down. Be reasonable about this. We had to cut some extraneous content. The manuscript you submitted was over 700 pages. You're not J.K. Rowling, Chuck. No one is going to read a book that long. Are you out of your mind? Chuck re sighed. Chuck argued. Carver Edlin's fans like to read. They write fan fictions based on the characters that are longer than 700 pages. 700 pages of the brothers fucking each other. Phil scoffed. Seriously. Oh, it gets worse. Chuck sighed. They've gotten Castiel and Gabriel in on the mix now. And apparently the hottest new couple is Bobby and Crowley. Don't tell me this shit, Phil groaned. Now I gotta go bleach my eyeballs. Just, just, you cut too much out, Chuck answered. More calmly now, Chuck, I know you're dedicated to you, you are to the series, Phil conceded. But since you have a corporate publisher now, not Sarah, who ran a small potatoes operations, we have to do things their way. And they said, no 700-page book. But you changed the whole story, Chuck insisted. No, I cut a lot of details. But still, Sam goes to hell, gets Bobby out. Crowley tries to stop them from getting back. Dean and Benny save them. And everyone comes out no worse to wear. Phil lists it off. It's the same story, just condensed down from spending 300 pages of Sam wandering through around hell. That's the whole point, Chuck argued. He went to hell with a capital H. He didn't go to a haunted house at the country fair. None of the fans are going to believe... That he just waltzed in without trouble, found Bobby in the third cell. He looked in and only had to fight a couple token demons to get out. He spent hours looking for Bobby. He ran into Ruby. He saw Bella being tortured all. All. In that particular scene, Phil blew out a long breath in the phone. That was a particularly graphic scene and brutal, even for you. She's in hell, Phil! You think she's sitting around sipping champagne and getting her nails done? Chuck raged. All of those things were important. That the demon that asked Sam if he was saving the right innocent soul. That reminds him that Adam was still in the cage. The one that taunted him with taking him back to Lucifer. Those are all important, Phil. Chuck was be back there shouting. Chuck. Phil tried to soothe, but was interrupted again. What about the discussion with Bobby of leaving the gates to hell open? Chuck continued. That's going to be significant later. I'm sure it will, Phil tried to pacify the offer. But this way, only the few Bright Riders will... Think of the gates being left open as foreshadowing, and the rest will think you're a genius when it comes back to the matter later on. But it's important for them to read it and understand all of it now, Chuck pressed on. They need to know that demons can't pass through the portal, that portals, so they don't have this big plot hole of why Crowley couldn't just access Purgatory through the back door. They need to see exactly what th this trial did to Sam. What it did to him back to go back to hell. What it did to both brothers. You've got Sam asking Ajay if this was hell. He knew it wasn't hell. He told Ajay 
This isn't the hell where I was. The fans need to know what. What's really happened? Phil continued. Is that what you're gonna say? Say honestly, Chuck. You act like you're writing about real people sometimes. I get that. These characters are important to you, but if you want to keep writing about them and get paid for it, no 700-page books. Chuck sighed, but didn't answer. Now, I was go about to take my wife and kids to a movie, Phil sighed. Go have a drink and calm down and maybe take a vacation before you start on the next book. Really, no matter how dedicated you are to these characters... I think a break would do a lot of good for you. Yeah, I'll think about it. Chuck grumbled before hanging up the phone. They've got to know. He muttered as he sat down at his ch computer and logged into his favorite fanfiction site. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the story. I pretty much did. It's one of the few that I really enjoy from fanfiction.net. That involves Supernatural. Too many of them are just not as good. Though it is one of the more popular parts of fan fiction is on this site. But, you know the old saying. Sometimes you gotta go through a lot of crap before you can find the good stuff. And for some reason the story that are under about a thousand words seem to be better than the longer ones. But, that's just my opinion. I hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy yourselves.